Hi folks, Dave Herbert here. Uh, welcome to Mr. Herbert's science class. Today I'm going to show you something a little interesting that we can do with servos. As most of you know and from watching all my videos you know that I'm deeply involved in electronics. I worked at the first radio control company in America and I built my own uh, signature series radio cross trims this over here is the throttle trim elevator trim up here where you can reach it without removing your fingers these are aileron and aileron across exponentials these are the first this is on 53 megahertz roll button snap roll button dual rates build a mixer inside uh, quite the radio at the time with removable frequency modules. This is back in the early 70s. And something else I did while I was working in electronics, I built my own frequency monitor. And back then we only had the, uh, the uh, colors right here on 72 megahertz and the 5 on 53. I built this uh, using a AM radio to hear the uh, frequency and I put in all of the crystals and uh, set this up so that you could flip back and forth between 72 megahertz and you could check each person's frequency uh, because people got shot down all the time when you only got eight frequencies. You've all seen my servo, my electric uh, screwdriver servo, I just use this thing all the time. We do just about anything, it's very strong. And back in the day this is what I had to test servos. This is what I built was a, a servo tester and uh, you know it's running off this little battery right now. I, was, I use a couple of 555 timer chips and uh, set this up so that when you turn this on then you could run by turning this knob your servo to test the drive range on it back and forth. These circuit boards were made in 1980 by myself and my daughter Tanya and uh, this is a full color television that we used every day until the uh, power supply died. That's what the picture looked like. Uh, it was a Zenith made by Heathkit. So the point is one of my subscribers. He is called the Electron Teacher. He's also a teacher. He teaches electronics. His name is Ruben Rowan and his YouTube handle is uh, Electron Teacher at YouTube.com. This guy, uh, he, he's obviously very intricate in this stuff. This is what he sent me. It's a bug. We've got three servos on it, some feelers that are set up on the front, which are very interesting how they work and make contacts here. Very smart. And he sent me a complete kit. I'm going to show you that in a second. But this is what this looks like. It, talk about thorough. Here's the instructions. I don't even have to tell you. Everything is drawn in there step by step how to build these things. And uh, he's making them and they're pretty cool. And my cat loves it. So let me show you what uh, actually came in this box. Well, Ruben, you've outdone yourself. I mean, look at this. Here's the LED package, uh, the wood. He's even sent assembly photos on a, on a uh, SD card. Uh, normal gate walking, fast gate walking chip. Cut all this wood out. It's beautiful, all the parts. Battery, three servos, and two chargers. So we're going to put this together and uh, Jeff and I are going to race them. Okay, we've got power switch here, timing set up, the legs are all set up. There's some LEDs on the front. It appears that these wires, when they make contact on either side, they do something different. Let's go ahead and turn it on and see what happens. Hand up to catch the wire, see what happens. Oh, cool, it backs up. So if it runs into something, Let's 
build the other one and race them. Yep, Martin here and I are getting ready to build one of these bugs from the kit that came from the electron teacher. Now if you're looking for a science project, this is pretty cool and you all you have to do is contact him. I will put his email address and everything up on the screen when we get up on there. In the meantime, he has these kits ready for you to uh, get so you'll have to contact him. Got my electric screwdriver, really don't have anything. Got electric glue gun and a soldering iron set up over there. Let's go ahead and get started and I'm just going to follow along in the directions. Here's what we do next. Okay, we're gonna put the LEDs on the front right now. Uh, on most, on all LEDs, the lo there's long and short leads. Uh, way I remember it is the long lead is positive because there's more of it, positive. And the negative lead is the shorter one, which means it's negative. So in this case, we're gonna mount the positive on the top and the negative on the bottom. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to solder the two leads using my uh, Weller soldering station. When you're soldering, you always apply the heat, then the solder, then remove the heat. There we go. Okay, go on to the next segment. We're going to solder wires right here. The two blue wires doesn't matter. Heat up the LED wire and apply the solder and we're done on that side. Now, let's flip it over. We're going to solder this to the bus line, this being a bus line, both negatives. Okay, the assembly is not complete. I'm going to show you. Here's what it looks like when it's running. This is mine. Okay? And this is Jeff's. And it works. Works good. So now we're going to have a race, folks. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Why is it going so much faster? See, when it runs into something, the feelers back it up. They make it turn. Or make it turn. I think that fast one is pretty cool. How the hell did you do that? Okay, I cheated. I put in a different chip right here. I'll go ahead and shut it off and I'll show you what I did. Uh, there's a high speed chip. Really? And a low speed chip. Would you like to have a high speed chip? <laughs> I want a high speed chip. Okay, you're going to get a high speed <laughs> chip. I'm going to put it in right now. We'll have another race. Okay, here we go. Let's put the high speed chip in yours. Referee's gonna count it down. This one over here is Jeff's. This one is mine. Ready, set, go. <laughs> Mine's faster. And Mike can fly. Pretty cool little bugs. 
I'm telling you kids and adults, you want to have some fun and do something with your hands and make the really coolest science project ever to blow everybody away. This is it. Get a hold of Ruben, the electron teacher on YouTube, and uh, get one of these kits from him. Pretty cool. I like it a lot. Thanks, Ruben. We're having fun here. Wow, I got a big one of those bugs.